Over all the videos that I've made, almost 200 now, one of the most popular ones that people still watch is Leechy. That video where I first did Leechy in its overview was about six, seven months old, and a lot has changed. There's also a lot of new Mavic owners, Phantom 4 Pro owners, and DJI Spark owners every day that look at this app or are purchasing new drones. So I figured let's take a look at Leechy again because I still get tons of questions about what is this app, what does it do, and everything else. Probably gonna be doing some more beginning videos and stuff for people anyway, uh, just because a lot of the videos that I have on the Mavic are kind of dated and not of the best quality that I could produce at the moment. Also, there'll be Spark videos coming soon, as soon as that thing arrives. So try to upload daily, consider subscribing to the channel. So let's get on to Leechy. So what is it? Well, Leechy is basically a third party app that works with all DJI aircraft. Now DJI gives their code out to different developers in order to get more of the community involved. And Leechy is basically the DJI Go 4 app's biggest competitor. People use Leechy for a lot of reasons. Uh, some use it because it has some modes that aren't available in DJI Go 4. It does some things that DJI Go 4 does not do. And some people just use it because the Go 4 app just isn't reliable for them, such as many Android users. One thing I love about Leechy is the included screen recorder with audio so I can record all of my stuff and talk to myself while I'm out there flying so I can keep a good note of certain camera settings in different conditions. So the first place we should probably start with Leechy is let's start with if I crash am I covered under DJI Care Refresh or Warranty? And that is basically a two-sided question. According to DJI's website, they say that they will not cover any damage resulting in the use of a third-party app. So basically, <laughs> what that means is if you get a normal compass error or a motor fails or something like that, some type of hardware failure, DJI will take care of you in the service department. Now, if there is an issue that Leechy causes that causes the bird to crash, they will not cover it. But DJI Go 4, as we know, has tons of issues in itself. So, would you rather take your a risk of your app constantly crashing and something happen to your drone, or would you rather take the risk and just use a good stable app that is dependable and more than likely you will be covered because you're going to have a hardware failure. If you go to Leechy's Facebook page, they also actually communicate problems that they have with DJI firmware and updates and everything. They don't keep things hidden and secret like the big DJI giant does. Just go to their Facebook page and check it out and look at their change logs and how responsive they are to comments and everything else. So let's get started on a tour here. The first thing let's look at is let's go into the settings which there are a ton of settings that Leechy has. Uh, basically, it's gonna be all the same stuff that you have inside your Go app, just kind of laid out in a more basic fashion. fashion. Right here, we can see all the different uh, things as far as updates, um, what versions you're on, all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna name it all, you can see all that. 
Uh, here we have an aircraft settings where you set your return to home altitude. They do the air data UAV, which is formerly healthy drones. So you can create an account and work with that. Uh, they have all of the stuff that you would normally find in your controller and aircraft settings as far as what to do if you lose connection, a gimbal extension, turning on and off collision avoidance, that type of stuff. If we go to the camera the settings, they have an auto record. So as soon as you basically turn the app on, it'll start recording. They, of course, have cached videos. Focus threshold is built into it for iOS devices. They have the OcuSync readout so you can see the quality of your signal before you fly. If I click on the cache video here, it actually brings up a couple other items that will show you that you can do uh, caching photos and you can also preview those when you take a, a photo. Leechy will also talk to you if you enable speech. I have it disabled right now because I don't have an SD card in my Mavic and it's been going crazy. But this is good if you're using DJI goggles and you're enjoying the view or if you're using the included VR function in Leechy. So that's pretty nice. And down here, lastly, you have the hotkey setup, which is really great because they have a whole list of things that you can program your keys to do. And this kind of stuff is important when you are doing actual missions with Legion, which I'll show you that here in a minute. So now that we're done with the settings, let's go ahead and click over here where it says FPV. Here are the different modes that are built into Lychee. You have your FPV mode, which is your standard flying around, enjoying the scenery mode. You have a waypoint mission mode, which is way more robust than that that is built into the Go4 app. You have the orbit mode, which is about the same. You have a panorama picture mode, which will allow you to take 180 degree, 360 degree, whatever you want to do when it comes to panoramas. And they put a lot of time and effort into making that a lot nicer than it was months ago. They also have a focus mode, which allows you to, it's kind of like home lock mode where you can maintain focus on a particular point of interest and just kind of fly around uh, back and forth. And they have active tracking as well. And this is where you also start and stop your recording. If we work our way around the screen, you can see our satellites, battery percentage, what mode we're in, RC and video strength, battery percentage. The little goggle type of thing is for the VR mode. And it has its own settings. You basically just buy a cheap pair of VR goggles and throw your smartphone device into it. And this is what you will see whenever you are flying. Exit that. Next to that is a little icon with three dots. And this is where you can stream to Facebook Live. And what's great about Facebook Live streaming on Leechy is you can actually stream live to a group. You don't have to stream it to a public feed or your own channel and have family members and everything else complimenting on it. You can just put it to a particular group that you would like to see. So that is a really cool feature. Of course, we have our button here to switch back and forth between picture and video. Uh, right here with the broken SD card is because I don't have an SD card in there. Below that, this is all of your camera settings that we're used to. There's your exposure settings, photo settings, your video format and quality, white balances, the filters, 
which the filters have a little bit of a different name because DJI is constantly changing the name of theirs and I don't think it leads you can keep up. Have your style settings, which use phrases instead of numbers, but they, a lot of this stuff, if you have it programmed into your Mavic or Phantom or whatever already, will actually carry over into Lychee. It's all hard-coded into the firmware or some kind of uh, memory that's built into our ships. Gimbal roll, portrait mode, turning the LEDs off, autofocus mode, and of course, reset. And then if we look over on the left hand side of the stream of uh, the screen sorry um, we have the different uh, return to home take off and all kinds of buttons and all that good stuff now one of the most powerful modes built into lychee is the waypoint mode and this mode is a lot better than the Go4 app. And the reason why is you can set up Lychee to automatically control flight and control the gimbal. So you can plan a mission and tell it where to focus, to start taking pictures, to start the video, stop the video. You can actually set up a fully autonomous mission if you want. I find the simple missions, such as doing a straight line, the most helpful for myself when I'm doing work for my real estate company because it allows me to put a point of interest right there on the front door and fly a path and have the software automatically control the gimbal and point at the front door so I get great smooth video. Now, what's awesome about this is you can set up a mission when you're laying in your bed or you can fly to the different points and set up the mission, which is really, really great because Leachy is very lenient with their altitude limits. When you try to do a waypoint mission and go for Go4 creates a bubble around your home point, and it also won't let you set an altitude waypoint below, I think it is five or 10 meters, something like that. So I just pressed on the screen a couple times to set some waypoints. If I press this little white teardrop up here with a plus sign, it turns blue. And if I press right there, in front of my house, I have created a point of interest. So now what's going to happen is I can go into this little button here on the left that has this little gearbox and press that. And that's going to bring up the mission settings. Now under the mission settings, you have a couple different things, but for most missions, you will want the heading to be on auto. As far as the finish action, that's up to you. You can either have it do nothing, just stop, turn to home, land, go back to one, reverse, whatever. You can have it do a straight line or a curved line, one or the other. You can adjust the speed that it's flying the mission, which actually you can do that on the fly while the mission is going too. So if you start off too slow or too fast. And then down here we have default gimbal pitch mode, which basically is what I was talking about with the point of interest. So we can either disable that and we can have full control ourselves we can click on the focus POI, which will have Lychee take care of everything, or we can click on interpolate and we can do a little bit of both. So those are your overall mission settings. If you press the little arrow, it's gonna take you to waypoint number one. And here you can adjust your altitude and all of the other items that we were talking about. And if we scroll down to actions and press the little plus button, 
this is where you can do things for any kind of actions that you want. You can have it stay there for a certain amount of time. You can have it take a photo, stop reco recording, start recording, whatever you want. If we move on to waypoint number two, there's the same thing. We can lower the altitude of waypoint number two and we can do actions as well. So, you know, you could start a video at waypoint number one and stop it at waypoint number two. Now, if we click on the little blue teardrop camera thing, this is our point of interest settings. And this is the altitude that the point of interest is and where the gimbal is going to focus. So when you run missions like this, Sometimes if you have it in automatic mode, uh, focus P uh, POI, sometimes you'll notice either that it's focusing a little too high in the frame or it's a little too low in the frame. All you have to do is just simply raise the altitude or lower the altitude. No problem at all. When all that is said and done, all you have to do is press the little play button and if I wanted to run this mission I would hit click OK and it would load the mission to the Mavic and the Mavic would take off fly it and do whatever I told it to do there is a pause button that will pop up here during a mission and anytime you freak out and you want to gain control all you have to do is flip the RC into sports mode and it will totally stop your waypoint mission. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and just fly a little bit and just show you how everything goes. I'm going to do an automatic takeoff and the Mavic's going to pop up into the air here. Ah, uh, so I hit a little snafu there. Lychee would not let me take off because it is grab grabbing the geo system from DJI Go 4. So since I haven't logged in for a day or two, I had to base I had to go into DJI Go 4 and unlock the token and then close the app and then I was able to start flying. So you can see obstacle avoidance works and everything like that. And you can turn those actual visual, visual cues on and off. But it all works the same. It wouldn't let me fly into the house. So as you can see, it's just a normal flight app. No big deal when it comes to what you're doing. It's not as pretty as the Go4 app, but it's just as convenient. You have your Zoom stuff, you have portrait mode, Got all that kind of cool stuff built into here, moving my gimbal around. And then you can also put in long press actions, which are great with the waypoints. So, you know, I showed you how to do a waypoint with the map. If I wanted to do a waypoint and just kind of set it up right here, I can just fly to the spot that I want to and go into the mission mode and then I can 
press my button and just drop a waypoint right there. Uh, flying to get some pretty big wind right now. I can drop a waypoint right here. And then I can go right here and set with the button my point of interest. So if we go in here to our app real quick and check out our mission, go ahead and hit play. So now I can just go ahead and hit play on the mission, hit OK. It's going to load the mission to the aircraft, and then it's going to fly over here to that spot where I set my first waypoint, and it's going to turn around and look at the house. And then this is a pretty short fast flight but you can see how it just did all that by itself and now it's done so that's really gonna do it here for this lychee video i just wanted to give everybody an example of uh, what's going on with the app now and how easy it is to use and uh you know check them out I think it's 20 25 bucks some people complain about that but you know we pay 90 to 160 dollars for batteries so 25 bucks probably isn't going to kill us talk to you guys later see you in the next video